Hello and welcome to Chagulei Q&A. This is the place where each week I take one question from the Chagulei community and offer solutions that help us to turn our current practices into thriving businesses. Today the question I want to talk about is how can I be confident in prices I charge my client? In my early days of business, selling books in streets of Moscow and home accessories in dozen retail shops, I learned that the biggest areas of profit and highest categories of sale were made not by selling the broad range of cheap items, but selling the selected few ones which are more highly priced. Can you make a simple conclusion that it is easier to sell expensive items or services than cheap ones? No, of course not. My conclusion was there is no direct simple correlation between price of item or service and the sales volume or profit you're going to make from selling it. There are a lot more factors which will influence your business results. There are credibility factors, quality of your product factors, marketing tools, your target clientele factors and so on and so on. So, I will not lie to you, there is no magic formula in setting prices in the service-based industry as ours, but there is a way to become more confident in setting prices for your coaching practice. And here I recommend three steps process, which I call input-output clarification. Step number one, to know what you invested. Your investment position is the amount of time, energy and finances you spend in order to get where you are, to be able to offer your services to your clients. So question number one, please write down the amount of time and finances you spend in order to get your coaching education. Please don't forget travel expenses and so on. Question number two, write down what are the knowledge and skills you are consciously using during your coaching practice? And evaluate in numbers how much time and finances you spend to get that also. If some positions are difficult to evaluate, please use rough estimations. Step number two, to diversify your offers. It is always good to have a possibility to choose, right? I'm sure you are happy when you are able to try the product before to buy it. Personally, for example, I always try some piece of clothes before I make a decision to pay for it. Why your customers should be different? So I have a next question to you, and this is the question number three. What kind of range of prices and services are you offering? Do you offer free testers? What is the most expensive one? How many middle range priced offers and services do you have? And if you don't, please brainstorm and create multiple offers starting from free one and up to the most expensive one. And finally, step number three, be crystal clear about your customer's why. So here is a question number four. Please write down for each product or service you are offering three main reasons why customers prefer to buy from you. And question number five, please write down for each product or service you are offering all reasons why you are confident that you can provide high-quality service and satisfy your customers' needs. I designed input-output clarification process as a straightforward, logical procedure to help you gain confidence when you set up prices for your services. Answering those five questions, you will be First of all, clear what you bring in, 
and your input is your knowledge, skills, experiences, finances, time, energy and so on. You will be clear what you bring out and your output is your product and services which need to be or preferably need to be diversified and finally you will be able to match your output with your customers buying criteria and at the same time giving them opportunity to have choice you see there is nothing mystical here and now we want to know how do you feel about your pricing what do you do to both set and state your prices with a full and complete confidence Join in the discussion in the comments below and please tweet Instagram, Facebook in your coaching resolution with the hashtag CoachRes and let us know what are you doing today to turn your current coaching practice into a thriving business. Thank you so much for listening and stay tuned to the next edition of our weekly Headway Q&A.